Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and I'm back with the number two video in my tutorial on the school mini album. So once you've made your spine, <clears throat> you're going to go ahead and put score tape on both sides of your hinges. And then we're going to go ahead and just taper. So you're just going to cut like a little triangle out on both sides. And this will just make it easier to slip your pages in. Okay, so I just cut a little corner off of each one. And all right, and we're going to just set that aside for right now. And we're going to work on our cover. So I use, <clears throat> uh, let's see, what is this called? This is, I what it's called. Um, but this is, um, hold on, let me see what it's called, because I already forgot. I'm going to go to the other side where I have it. Tyvek. Sorry about that. That is called Tyvek. And I buy it in envelope form. It comes in these like 9 by 11 um, envelopes at the office supply store. And then I cut them down. It's the same material that the post office uses in some of their mail bags that you can, you know, mail in priority. And that's what I use um, to reinforce my spine. But you can use whatever you want. You can use a piece of card stock, whatever. But this is what I use. So this is cut at five by seven. So seven is the height of my album by five. So I've got my chipboard pieces and the size of the chipboard is half an inch bigger than my album. So it's uh, seven and a half by this one is one and seven eighths. So the way I decide my spine is I measure my spine piece and I add half an inch to it. Okay, so that's going to go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that and I'm going to put just a couple pieces of score tape down to get this on here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and hear this down. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and somewhat center that. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Okay, and those they'll be a little bit sticking out, which is fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some score tape right at the side. Now this is quarter inch score tape and this will tell me how close to put my chipboard. So I want to have a little bit of space between um, my spine and my uh, chipboard because I want to be able to close my cover easily. So I put that right next to the spine and that's going to be a spacer for me so that I know exactly how much space I have. Okay, so then I have my two chipboard pieces. So I have two pieces cut at seven and a half by six and a half. So what, it's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it right next to this little spacer score tape that I have here so that I know that I've got I've given myself um, a quarter inch space and I am actually going to put a little piece, one more piece of score tape and then that way I know that I've given myself the proper space. Okay, so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put my chipboard right next to that little spacer score tape like so, okay? You see that it bends. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And, and let's see here, right there. Okay, so now I've got the beginnings of my book. All right, now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put score tape on what will be the front cover of my book. So I'm going to put it all along the edges because I really I want my cover to stay on there pretty well. 
So I'm envisioning that this is going to be four videos. So today's video or the second video is going to be the cover and putting in my book pages, my spine and my book pages. And then I will talk about um, how I decorated it. And then there'll be a final review. Okay, so there we go for that. And I've got my pieces cut. So I didn't trim this down a lot. So this is 12 inches by uh, 8. I usually add a couple of inches to this spot, to the end, to give myself plenty of space. So I'm going to go ahead and put score tape on just one end of it. Okay. We are ready to go. Whoa. Yikes. Yikes and yikes. I hope I didn't drop anything I need. Okay. So I'm going to take the score tape off. Whoops. Should I take the store tape paper off and not the actual score tape? And go ahead and take this off. Okay. And then I take the score tape that I put on one end, okay? And so this one end, and then I'm going to adhere. As straight as I can, okay? And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just trim this down a tad. Okay, so that's trimmed. I'm going to trim this end just a bit, leaving, oh, I'd say, a little more than half an inch around. Okay, and there we go. All right, so now we're ready to do the back side, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lay our score tape down. And my method is to do all around the edges, and then I do a couple pieces in the middle, and, and I'll get a really good stick with that. There we go. And you really want to use either a wet glue or score tape on cardboard. Otherwise, like if you use your ATG, it will not stick really well is what I found. I don't think it sticks well at all to chipboard. Okay, so I've got my, let's see, is this kind of my back piece? Uh, oh, okay. Let's see here. Move that. This is my back. Nope, not my back piece. All right, so this is a new back piece. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. Is I'm going to put tape on one end of it, and my spine piece I left on the bed because I was watching TV. So I'm going to go run over there when I'm done with this and grab my spine piece. And I'm going to put on the spine and then we'll work on our pages. Okay, there's that. I'm going to peel this tape off of this one and then I'm going to line it up. And so that Okay, and of course I stuck the wrong end down. Genius. Okay, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to cut, just trim this one end because it's a little bit big. So you want about mm, an inch or so around your spine. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab what will be the spine piece. Let me just grab that really quickly. I'm going to trim this down ahead of time. And so this is my 
spine piece. Uh, drop my bone folder. Okay, so here's my spine piece. And so for this piece, it's going to fit right here. And so what I'm going to do is adhere score tape. Here and here and here. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere it on both long ends of my spine piece. And so this is paper that I used to make another album, and so I am in the nitty gritty, but I'm pretty sure that I have enough to do a pretty good job on this paper. I'm going to use it all up. On this project so it's a little bit exciting okay and then I pull it off of both ends of this right here the long ends here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get a good Here and here. Okay, and so I kind of just work it around and do a little bit of a, a creasing here. Make sure it's on there and kind of fold it over like a book so it can start learning its way. Okay. So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the outside. Looking like a book, but looking like a book. Okay, it's the back. Here's the front. Okay, so um, and I'll show you more when I get this piece done. Okay, so what I do is I just trim the corners. This depends on what I'm doing. In this case, I'm going to just trim the corners. People do it different ways. Sometimes I do it different ways. but. For this one, I'm just going to trim the corners. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do to adhere my spine. So I'm going to put one piece of tape there on the chipboard and one piece on the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to fold it over. Make it happen. Okay. And I'm going to also, right now, before I forget, I'm going to take out the pieces in the spine because that all needs to get covered now. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to do the side. And here. Fold it over. To the bottom. And this piece. Okay, and over. Fold it over as tightly as you can. You want a really nice, tight piece. So let's do this piece. Okay. So do this. And now I'm going to just fold this over. Okay, so that piece is a little bit just 
kind of get that to work. I mean, because all of this is going to get covered, um, you're not going to really see this spine too much once I have everything covered. So I just want to get it on there nice and tight. And okay. Here we go. Alright. And that piece is covered. This one needs a little bit of tape right down here. Actually, I'm gonna. Hmm. Well, again, I'm gonna cover it. Up. Okay, so I'm talking to myself. Cause I'm losing my mind over here, and just fold that over. I'm gonna fold it over, and now we're gonna do the last piece which is this one right here and then we're going to do our inside. I'm going to show you how I do my inside and then and this one already has some tape on there. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, my spine and then both sides. So I need a spine piece. So hold on one second. I'm going to go grab a piece I can use for my spine. Oh, let's see, what will I use? I'll use, I'll just use some plain. So let's see, this is seven and a half. So I'm gonna cut this at seven and a quarter. So I've got this, you can't see me. I'm gonna cut this at seven and a quarter. <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut this, let's see, I want it to go over a little bit. So. I'm going to say I'm going to do about three and three quarters. So it just depends on the look that you like for your album. So this piece is going to just fit right here and it's going to be pretty much hidden for the most part. So I'm going to put it right here. And what I'm going to do is put score tape on the chipboard. in the middle and then chipboard right on the other side and then I'm just going to put it all around the edges of my paper Okay, all around the edges of my paper. Now I'm going to take this off. Okay, and what really what makes this book special is that I did decorate it very heavily. I did a lot of really fun journal spots and Cricut cuts. So that part will take me, a, you know, a little while. I'm probably going to be uploading this all together so you won't feel like it was like you had to wait, but I do have to do that. So you fold it up and kind of make it learn what it's supposed to do. Okay? Learn what it's supposed to do. This part's a little crooked, but I'm going to put a little something there. So we're going to hide that. Okay, so here we go. Now we need to tr do our inside. Okay? So this is going to be on this side, and so it is, let's see, this is going to be cut at seven and a quarter, and seven and a quarter by, this is six, so this is just going to fit right here. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the spine piece which is I'm going to put score tape on the chipboard and then I'm going to put it all around my paper piece so 
we are almost done in actually constructing our book. So this is the easy part. The hard part is decorating it, I think. Okay. I'll take all these pieces off and we're going to just adhere this down and then I'm going to do the other side and then we'll do our spine. Whoops. And then we'll be done for the day or at least done for this part. Okay. And let's get this down. Okay, get it well and truly down so I squish it down. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to be using this paper. So I'm going to cut this down to seven and a quarter. And that one was six because that's the size that I had left on that one. But I'm actually, yeah, I think I'll do six on the side too. Yeah, like that. Okay, so let me go ahead and do the same exact thing. And what did I do with my score tape? Sorry about that. I'm like sweating right now because we have new air conditioning. It's awful. My husband said it's going to be, let's see, what's today? Today is Tuesday. I'm not going to get air conditioning until Sunday. I don't know that I'm going to last until Sunday. I may have to go to my mom's house because I am just sweating because I closed the door so I wouldn't get any distractions. I mean, I have a, a fan blowing. The only good part about going back to work is I have air conditioning at work. So, okay. So let me go ahead and take all this tape off. I go through a lot of score tape. As you can see, I use a lot of score tape for this project, but you want your book to adhere. Plus, score tape is really easy to work with. It's not messy like, you know, glue is. So I do love that aspect of it, is that it's really, really easy to use. Okay, so we just lay this part down. And there's our book. Okay.